If you don't like coding and you don't have time to build your own web scrapers, you are probably copy pasting data from various sources into your spreadsheets or databases. I want you to stop doing that. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can use the magical tool to seamlessly copy data from one destination to another destination without using any code sample. And uh, we're going to talk about data scraping without any code. Seamless, effective. Let's get started. So if you're one of those people who are copy pasting data into spreadsheets, I want you to stop right now. It's not very efficient and you're probably wasting a lot of time. What we're going to do is we're going to use Magical. I've done videos on Magical in the past. Pretty great tool for you to get started with. And in this video, we're going to cover a concept known as transfers. Let me share my uh, screen real quick. So here you can see the number one website scraper for people who hate uh, code. So transfer basically, um, the feature transfers by Magical, it allows you to move data from a source to a destination. Now the source can be anything. For example, you're scraping, uh, let's say LinkedIn profiles, right? You're scraping uh, Airbnb data. You're sca scraping some YouTube data, anything. So the source can be anything. And then the destination can be, let's say your Google Sheets, for example. So you can see it's being used by people at big tech companies. You can start scraping websites in minutes. You don't need to build a scraper. Just point and click at what you scrape and transfer it directly into your database is what I'm going to show you. And you can, uh, you know, get like Airbnb types, like property name, number of rooms, number of beds, similarly for Amazon, similarly for LinkedIn. I'll give you a LinkedIn example. I'll show you how it works internally, and then you can try it out yourself. Cool. The other thing is that the uh, reason why you should be using such platforms is if you're doing a lot of automation on your own, sometimes the websites may block you. Um, so if you're using automation on Instagram, for example, you're not uh, using it responsibility, then the, your account will be banned. And since you're doing scraping, then you know you get like the IP banned from the web scraping and all these other things. Make sure that you're using it in an ethical way because I'm sharing this tutorial and there are tools like this. So people can do whatever they want, you know, with the with the tools, but it's your responsibility to all do all these web scraping things and other things, following the data data laws of the, you know, wherever you are, and so on and so forth. So yeah, make sure you check out all of these things. And uh, yeah, I like how this one, how hard is web scraping? It's only as hard as you make it. That's true. I have been talking a lot, so let me just give you an example. This is magical. Uh, I'm going to start from scratch. Let's say I'm uh, I'm just here. By the way, if someone comes on this LinkedIn profile, shout out to them. Um, okay, Tomer, for example. So what I'm going to do is, let's say I want to add Tomer to a management, uh, like a database that I'm maintaining. So I'll create a new spreadsheet or I can add in the current spreadsheet. So if I do current spreadsheet, and then I go to my spreadsheet, open destination. Here you can see that I have, oh, it's in my bin right now because I had it deleted. Okay, not a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new spreadsheet. Close this. So the first name about company, all of these things, company um, URL will be added here and there we go. It's done. Isn't that cool? Right? If I select someone else, let's say, um, I can do the same for them. See, second one as well. And the other thing I want to show you is, let's say if I do it one more time, you'll see, you know, you can find the email and stuff, but obviously use it ethically. Don't spam people. They're like templates as well, which I've covered in previous videos. And you can add them as new candidates as well in like your candidate portal. I don't use Greenhouse, but if you use, you can do that. I'll show you uh, Airbnb in a, minute, in a minute. So as you can see, that's happening. But now you'll be like, Kunal, well, this is a bit overwhelming because you're adding one by one. Well, you don't have to. Um, 
let's say I open a bunch of I open a bunch of portals or uh, pages, right? I opened a bunch of profiles. Let's say I want to add this one. It's going to say, do you want to add all the other tabs? Yeah, just do all the other similar tabs. Then I go to my LinkedIn um, database. Here you can see it added all the ones at once. How cool is that? So there we go. That's what I was talking about. Okay, similarly, you can create your own. You can select the site. Let's say I select, uh, you know, google.com, Google Sheets, and um, yeah, you can do a bunch of stuff. You can select uh, Airbnb, you know, and um, yeah, let's actually look at that as an example. Let me show you Airbnb. Okay, next thing I want to show you is around Airbnb. So let's say I want to add a new spreadsheet for Airbnb. Let's say just just uh, just this tab. Here it should have added. In a minute, you'll see it get populated. Here you go. So location URL about and all these other things. Cool. Similarly, if I add it again, done. Click on any text to the label. Oh nope. I have to select the. Let's say if I select multiple houses, like I open a bunch. This is what happens. You know, you may have friends and I do it too. You have like a bunch of tabs open. I say a thousand tabs open. Select Airbnb, all the tabs. And now it's much more organized. Okay. So you know what I'm talking about. Price as well and everything. Number of beds. Number of reviews total price, everything is given, the location if given as well. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Cool. You can add it from spreadsheets to like other places. Uh, you can add, you know, info labels um, as well, if you want. Cool. And templates, I've already showed you that. Amazing, pretty cool stuff. So that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, stop copy pasting data from one source to another. A really nice short uh, tutorial because that's how easy it is. You don't have to do much. Uh, you don't have to do any coding. You can transfer data from one source to the destination with just a bunch of clicks. And it also provides you a lot of customization so you can do it accordingly. I showed you an example of LinkedIn and Airbnb, but you can do it with other tools as well. You can do it in bulk as well. As I showed you, you can uh, make it from scratch and do a bunch of things together. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, you can check out the links to the resources in the description below. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.